The refinery, which will be located in Nigeria's southwest region, will have the double distinction of being Africa's first privately held and largest petroleum refinery. With a projected daily production output of some 400,000 barrels, the project will double Nigeria's overall capacity. It's a welcome development for this Nigerian economy. You know, we, we, we know what has been happening. Importers do hold us to ransom. Um, tanker drivers do hold us to ransom. Even the petrol attendants will us to ransom to this economy. And being a mono economy, as we all know, everything depends on oil. Despite being Africa's largest oil producer, Nigeria relies mainly on imports for petrol to fuel cars and generators. Government-owned refineries operate at less than 30% capacity. The total cost of the project is pegged at some $9 billion, financed by a consortium of Nigerian banks. The Dangote Group has committed $3.5 billion of its own equity. It's not like, okay, you must build a homogenous ones like the one that they were building before. And here I'm coming up with this $9 billion loan that he's talking about. It's not like he's going to ask for $9 billion. He's asking for 3.3, then 2.5, you know, will be like gotten from the grants or from other agencies. Then he has his own equity that he's going to put into it. I think it's a welcome to him. This is the best thing. You know, to happen to Nigeria economy, especially as we depend solely on oil for everything that we do. And it's a milestone for us and for Nigeria. You know, for a man like Dangote to single handedly embark on industrialization, I think it's a great honor for him and for the country. If we have five of Dangote's in Nigeria with the same mindset of industrializing this country, then we'll be saying goodbye to unemployment. Aliko Dangote was recently ranked 43rd on the Forbes 2013 World Billionaires list with a fortune of some $16.1 billion. If successful, the new refinery will enhance his stature as Africa's leading industrialist and boost his already sizable fortune significantly. Peter Akaba, CCTV.